Hmm, what beer do I want to try next? Beer time, it's beer time with the beer man. So I'm back in my old setting again. Um, so what I have from you today is from Melvin Brewing out of Alpine, Wyoming. It's a 5% American Blonde Ale. Killer bees. Killer bees. Uh, uh, said to have some honey in there and this, that. So really looking forward to trying this because I love... Blondes and I love honey. Or you know, I love well my wife's blonde. I love blondes. <laughs> no, but I, I love uh, blonde honey ales. They're just they're delicious. Yes, they are. So let's try it out. Five percent. Let's do it. A little itch on my lip. Sorry. Liking it. The uh, all their beers are, have been really good. Everyone I've tried have been really good. Let's smell it. Started out with a nice uh, uh, about a about a head. I wasn't paying attention. So anyway, let's smell it. That's got a real nice sweet. You can smell the nectar in there, the honey, the like a floral nectary kind of honeyness. A little sweet malt coming out, real nice crisp, sweet. Uh, just you know, another one of those summertime beer that kind of smells, man. Easy drinking smelling. It just smell. It smells really good, man. Really, really smells good, man. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> right on. No, this is good. It's got some. Uh, <laughs> it's got some floral stuff going on as well. I'm not sure exactly what kind of flower, but it's got some floral stuff going on. Uh, some kind of blossom. <laughs> Maybe where the bee went to get the nectar to make the honey that is in this beer. <laughs> so, let's look at it. I gave you somewhat of what I thought it smelled like. Let's go ahead and look at it, yeah, for sure. So, um, we're down to maybe about a quarter of a finger head or a half finger head um, from a round I would have wanted to say if I was paying attention around a finger head, but it didn't seem like it was very big. I kind of screwed that one up. Sorry, guys. The um, lacing on the glass is actually quite nice. It's a nice silky head. It's got some um, pebbly action going on with some bubbles, 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 bubbles and this and that. But it's very silky looking and it's actually pretty uh, sudsy, somewhat oily on the rim, on the glass there. Um, it does have a bit of a dull appearance to it. It's got bubbles, medium rising bubbles on the sides going up. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of dark. Uh, I can see it though. I can see it. 
I can see it. It's right here. <laughs> but anyway, mm -hmm, there's nothing turbid really going on in there. There's nothing floating around. Actually, let me rewind a bit. It is a little turbid. There is some floaty madness going on in there. There is some things sudsing up and down, and but it's kind of, it is kind of dull. There's not a whole lot of action. It's just kind of sitting there, kind of hazing. I can definitely say this is a bit hazy. Uh, it's just real nice. It's real silky looking. Let's go ahead and taste this. Enough talk, huh? Five percent, man. Mmm. Oh, it's got a candy like light candy. It's a light malted candy that I'm getting out of the malts. Caramely light candy kind of caramelness with this uh, real intense honey like flavor. Floral and honey. Floral and honey. Both of those mix sweet honey with this floral kind of blossom like flavor coming out. Kind of spicy on the on the palate midway, midway down the tongue as well. I'm not getting a whole lot of drying. It's quite wet actually. All the way down, like you really taste it, but it's so light in the sweetness that it's actually it's so tolerable and so um, acceptable. You want to taste it going down your throat. It's very light bodied, um, light texture to it, but it's got a lot of flavor profiles that kind of come in from all over the place. You got your floral, you got your, a little bit of citrus coming in, you got your honey for sure right through the middle. It sits back on your palate and kind of sticks there. Uh, it just kind of sticks around and uh, resides and just kind of says, hello, I'm here. Um, you know, it kind of just like lets you know, you know, hey, I'm, I'm honey. And hey, I'm blossom and hey, I'm citrus. You know, that's just how, that's how it is, man. That's what it does to you when you drink this. <laughs> it's very, um, no, seriously, like this is really a very tasty beer. Very good lawn mowing beer. Um, one of those kind, hot day, you know, very thirst quenching, uh, very nice and lovely on the mouth. Uh, the mouth feel is very silky, smooth, sweet, honey-like appeal to it and charm. I just loved it. I love honey. Honey's my favorite. Um, yeah. But these guys made a really good beer. For a 5%, I can really, I really get a lot of taste and texture out of this. And that is the main thing in any score is the taste. So for a blonde ale like this with honey out of five hops, I give this five hops. This is an amazing blonde ale. I suggest anyone that can find this, please try it. But this is a great beer. I had to chug a little bit, you know? Alright guys, thank you so much. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Thanks so much. Uh, cheers. And um, please comment and let me know what you think. Um, if there's uh, if you've had this beer before, let's compare notes. I love the notes. Love the comments. Love the comments. And I love your guys' support. You guys are all freaking so wonderful people, man. Uh, such a great network of people I have here. Um, thanks for joining me and, and watching me and supporting my stuff. Um, and I the same support you as well But um, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell and you'll be informed when I have new shows put up <laughs> Lately, I've been fighting work, so it's kind of wishy-washy lately. I try to do it every day, so bear with me and uh, Watch YouTube sometimes they put your stuff in the spam box And I don't know when someone's written me or not, so I have to check that all the time so don't unsubscribe from me just yet. <laughs> I'll catch on to it eventually. Um, no, but anyway, yeah, uh, like the button, uh, hit the like button. 
<laughs> like the button. Now hit the like button, that'd be great. And uh, no, you guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this world. Um, specifically, it's night here, and I'm about ready to go to bed. So you guys have a good night. Cheers. Peace. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.